Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Hope you're able to tune in. You might be joining me on my Sue Stampfield YouTube channel, or I'm also live streaming in Facebook on both my, uh, in my Facebook group, my Sue Stampfield Facebook group, and on my Susan Campfield Independent Demonstrator Facebook page. So, Wherever you're tuning in, wherever you're joining me, welcome. Thanks for being here tonight. It's, uh, I'm going to pop over to comments. Drop me a comment if you're watching live. Uh, Jean's here. Mary's here. Excellent. Um, thanks for, for being out. Oh, two Jean's, Jean Fitch and Jean Shoot. Welcome. Um, it's, uh, it's Tuesday, <laughs> December 14th, right? And uh, it's getting close to Christmas. I was chatting with a team member tonight, um, Carol and uh, Carol Baumgartner, and uh, I said, yeah, Christmas is next week. And it was just dead silent on the phone. <laughs> and she said, uh, you totally caught me off guard when you said that. I was not even putting together that Christmas is next week. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, how is that even possible? So Darcy's here. Excellent. Thank you so much. Bonnie's here. Um, we're just going to do a little creating tonight. Tonight, I'm going to show you some sneak peek products from the upcoming January through June mini catalog. This was a card I designed for a swap. Um, demonstrators, uh, some of us, not, you don't have to do this for your demonstrator, but when you are a demonstrator, you have the opportunity to participate in card swaps, which are really fun. Um, and I really enjoy that. Oh, we got someone tuning in from Germany. Hello, it's late where you are. Thank you for staying up and joining us. Uh, Darcy's here, Michelle's here, Cindy's here, Pam. Awesome. Thanks so much. And thanks for sharing, Pam. I do appreciate that. Um, so uh, tonight we're going to do a sneak peek. So I designed this card for a card swap. Um, we do, this one was for a leader group that I'm part of. We also did a team swap. We have um, uh, more coming up. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun and exciting time. Now, the products I'm showing you are not going to be available to purchase until January 4th in the new catalog. And there also will be a celebration brochure at that time. Yay. So you'll be able to get some free products with a $50 qualifying purchase. Um, Kay's here from Iowa. Hello, fellow Iowegian. I'm in Minnesota, but I grew up in Iowa. So, um, And uh, another Susan. Good name. Good name choice. <laughs> you can call me Sue. You can call me Susan doesn't matter. I get called both. Um, and um, we're going to just go ahead and create. Now, if you wanted the products beforehand, you see the product, you're like, I want those in my hands right now. Um, you always have the opportunity to give a, being a demonstrator a try. Right now, demonstrators can pre-order the new stuff. So you could purchase the demonstrator starter kit and fill it with brand new products if you wish. Let's go ahead and start creating. So I'm going to flip to my other camera here on my desk pop down there. So this is the card that we're going to be creating tonight. And I've got a few tips for you on this card. And um, we're using um, a new embossing folder, as you might see, and we'll be talking more about this and a new bundle. So the bundle is called Honeybee Home. And it's part of a suite of products um, that has two different bundles in it. But we're going to focus on the Honeybee Home tonight. So we've got such happy news. So glad we're family. Miss you best of luck, stay wonderful, and you're the nicest. And then some uh, cute little honeybees here. And these aren't the, these aren't the mean stingy um, yellow jackety things. These are the honeybees that make that delicious honey that we love so much. And of course, some flowers. And uh, I, I do really like this font. So uh, let me show you the dies really quickly. Um, some of the dies cut out the images like the uh, bees can be cut out and then the flowers as well can be uh, die cut. And then we have some standalone dies. We're actually going to use two of the standalone dies tonight. So let me pull those out. So we have those. And then we're kind of starting from scratch on this card. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right. Uh, we're all just going to cut it together. So, um, oh, Lisa, you're making pet slider cards. Oh, you know what? I know it's a little bit of work, but bless you because the recipients are going to love them. And they're going to say, oh my gosh, you're so creative, Lisa. So, uh, so yay. I'm glad you're making those because they're going to be appreciated. Well, this is really smart. I brought over everything, but not the die cutting machine. <clears throat> Fortunately, it's nearby. Hang on. Shh. 
sure it's nearby. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All righty. So let's see, where do we want to start? Gosh, I hope you can hear me. I think my mic's pretty good. I think it can pick up my voice from a distance, but let me know if it can't. And all right, now I had everything all arranged, totally forgetting that I was going to bring in my machine. But you guys, you know what? I, you'd be so proud of me. I did a little desk cleaning. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen uh, and Instagram, you might have seen the messy desk posts that I did. By the way, in that messy desk post, there was some sneak peeks. Did anybody catch that of other new products? So you might want to check that out. Um, all right. So you know what? I'm going to have to move this light. Darn it. Darn it. All right. The light says it doesn't want to move. Well, fine. It's just going to have to. All right. Let's see if we can slide you over. I know I'm a little bit of an angle there, but um, it's going to be a lot easier for me to, to cut it. So I hope that that works. So what I have here is I've got the platform number one, and then I've got the... Um, you really can't see that. The thin die adapter number two, because I'm going to be doing some die cutting first, and then we'll get to our embossing. I've got one of the cutting plates. This is a number three plate down. It's all scarred up. Now these plates, if you have the old big shot, these will work just fine in that, uh, in that big shot. So no worries about that. And then I have a piece of gold uh, foil um, sheet here, and we're going to grab those two dies that I popped out. Now, when I made these swap cards, I made 20 of them. And uh, my helper, Cheryl, um, helped me out. She, let, she, she likes to do the die cutting for me. Bless her heart. And she is a paper saver. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I give her all this paper. And she's like, I don't know why you gave me so many paper. I, I, I got way more out of it. <laughs> and here's all this leftover, leftover paper. So bless her heart. She is a, a true paper saver. She likes to save me money and paper. So I'm going to just crank these guys through. And I'm sorry, I'm going to wiggle the camera a little bit here, probably when it goes through. So I apologize for that. We'll knock a few more things over on our desk. I don't normally die cut over here. It's only when I'm on a video. So I don't know. I always say that, don't I? It's true. Um, I have a whole desk just for die cutting. So over here, we've got our pieces stuck in there. So we're going to, oh, actually, you know what? It's popping right out. How about that? And this die has been used a lot already. So um, well, this one might need a little bit more convincing to come out. Of course, we have our great tool here. We've got our take your pick tool with the die brush attachment. These are two items are sold separately. And oh my gosh, they are great to have in your craft room. I actually have two. I have one that I keep as a brush and one that I keep as the little um, putty tip. All right, so I'm going to pull that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I love die cutting. And when years ago, when Stampin' Up uh, got a die cutting machine, I had I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I had no clue. And now I like do it all the time, right? I can't even hardly make a card without die cutting. So I can if I try, but I really like it. All right. Any other? Uh, oh, you like my gold nails? Thank you. Hey, it matches. What a deal, right? Um, so thank you, Cindy Sue. That's kind of you. All right. Just I'm putting the dies back on the magnet because it really stinks to lose something, doesn't it? <laughs> so now we're going to do our embossing. You know what? Uh, we're not, Susan, because you didn't cut your paper yet. Okay, let's cut some paper, guys. We're going to just pop this guy off to the side. Let's bring in another handy dandy tool. This is our fabulous paper trimmer. And I've got a cutting blade here. Let's start with that. I also have a scoring blade. I am going to start with um, a five and a half. I'm going to cut my 11 inch paper in half. So I'm cutting it at five and a half. Um, I'm not real good at math, but I could do card math. <laughs> That's my kind of math, right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and score it. So I'm going to put it at four and a quarter because it's eight and a half wide. And I'm going to score it in half. I don't want to cut it though. So the scoring blade is this lighter gray one down here. I hope you guys can see that. I moved my camera closer because somebody last time said that it was a little hard to see and I might have gotten it too close. <laughs> uh, you're right on top of it here. So sorry about that. I, I do listen to your feedback um, on my videos and I do really appreciate um, when you have tips for me. So uh, because if you guys can't see it, then you know, what's the point, right? So I'm going to cut this at four inches. This is the piece that I'm going to be embossing. 
So it's four inches by five and a quarter. And that is the perfect size to layer on my card base. Because when I fold my card, the finished size of my card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So a four inch by five and a quarter is the perfect size to layer on top. So paper cutting is done. I do already have my piece of gold uh, cut. This piece of gold is one inch by four. And now we're going to do some embossing. You know, I've got a bone folder handy here. I'm just going to go ahead and get a nice crease on this one. And now we can bring that uh, embossing machine back up. Yeah, I think next time I will raise the camera up just a bit. Um, we'll play around with it. And you guys will give me your, your, your opinion on that. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to grab my embossing folder. Now this embossing folder, I have some tips for you on how to use this. Um, so this embossing folder is a 3D folder. That means it's the thicker type of folder. So I want to use the um, the specialty plate. Now, if you if you purchase the new die cutting machine, it comes with this. But if you have the big shot or uh, for some reason you don't have this plate, you can pick this up um, separately. So this uh, embossing folder is called the Hive 3D embossing folder because it looks exactly like a honey, uh, like honeycomb, right? Um, like a hive. And so that's going to be coming out in the new catalog. Um, the item number is, if you're getting the starter kit and you want to put this in there, it's 157995. When you get the starter kit, you pick out $125 in product and you only pay $99 for it. So this embossing folder is, um, it's not directional as much as there's a certain side you want up. So um, I'll show you what I don't want. <laughs> The first time I embossed it in gold, uh, I did it for when I um, when I order new product, I usually overnight it and um, I do a, a box party with my team and I usually partner with my uh, one of my team members, Rachel Tessman, and we do that together for our team. And I was showing this and I had pre embossed it and she's like, um, Susan, that's the wrong side. And <laughs> she was totally right. So, you, you know, a normal honeycomb would look like this where it's dipped in. So you do want to be. Um, cognizant of that on, on how you put it in here. So I've got a tip for you on that. I'm actually going to start with the white though. So the white doesn't matter because both sides are white. And so um, we'll have the uh, Stampin' Up! logo up here and I'll put this on. Doesn't matter for this one having that logo up, but I'm mentioning that because it will matter on the next one. So I'm just going to crank that through. And again, I am going to jiggle the camera a little bit. I do apologize. All right, and let's pull this through. There we go. So when we open this up, so this side is the side that has the logo. And I can see that that is the side that makes the, the nice honeycomb, right? So the logo side is what you would want your gold up. Does that make sense? And then the other side that has the copyright is the side that's going to give you the raised bumps. And there might be cards where you want raised hex raised hexagons not necessarily a honeycomb look but if you're looking for more of the honeycomb look you'd want this side up so we're going to go ahead and put this piece of gold in here and again i want to make sure the gold is up um, on the side that has the logo i hope that makes sense um, oh, Roz inked, inked her embossing folder, her hive embossing folder with cinnamon cider ink. What a great idea. I love it. Give that a try. It's so fun to get that extra dimension, isn't it, when you ink the folder? All right, so we're going to go ahead and crank this through and do our gold keys. All right. So we're all, kind of all done with our die cutting machine. I'm going to just... I'm chucking it on the floor. Actually, maybe I should put it in a chair. I'm having one of those days if I could trip over something, I would. So I better get it out of my way. All right. So we're going to put that beautiful hive embossing piece down. And hi, Mary from Southwest Minnesota. And Lynn's here from New Jersey. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put my seal here on my card. The seal has been getting a workout because I am working on my holiday cards for my team. 
um, and and it's it's a it's a large amount of cards, and so they're really more uh -huh, they're going to be more of a New Year's card. Um, they really seriously are more of a New Year's card because I knew it was going to take me quite a while to get them done. You know what? I put it on there, and I was afraid I didn't get it close enough to the edges, so I'm going to put it on this. All right, double double sticky here. So I like to stand over the card and just um, make sure that I'm even on all the edges, even-ish, you know what I mean? All right, so we've got that glued down, and now we're ready to add this strip of gold across there. And so I'm just going to put some adhesive on that. Now before I stick this on, I'm going to grab those two pieces that we die cut. So let's lay those on here. And I just want to decide where I want them to be. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to stick a glue dot on each of these. The other thing you could do is you could actually just put some sticky down right here and um, stick them on that way. Why don't we just do that? I'm just tacking them down and this one is going to go right here okay and then that sticky gold piece is going to cover that up doesn't this uh, gold embossed with that high oven folder just makes you think of delicious honeycomb <laughs> honey dripping off the cone yum 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 all right so there we've got our our card started um, we're going to go to our greeting I was debating about whether I was going to be lazy and use a pre, I have a pre-embossed piece, but I'm not, I'll, <laughs> I'll do it in front of you. I've had a, I've had a rough day, you guys. Uh, I'm so glad you're here crafting with me because this is the perfect, perfect, um, what do I want to say? Cure for my rough day. I, uh, I don't like going to the dentist. Does anyone else like that? Like, I really don't like going to the dentist. And I had a two hour dental ordeal today that uh, did not go well. So, uh, and my, uh, my numbness is wearing off, which means I'm going to be, I'm going to be feeling it here in a little bit because it was a pretty invasive event. So anyway, uh, I was thinking about cheating and, um, <laughs> using that piece that was already die cut. Now I'm stamping this in Versamark ink. So you can't see that. It's totally clear. If I tilt it in the light, you might be able there. You can pick up the shine. And so this is a wet sticky ink and I'm sprinkling this gold embossing powder over those words. And they're going to stick to the words. So best of luck is what this one says. And let's just slide that out of our way. This, uh, if you buy gold embossing powder now, it will be in a normal sized container, not a huge bucket like this. It'll be in something like this, which is really all anybody needs. I bought this large jar of, of embossing folder from Stampin' Up probably 20 years ago. <laughs> and I don't know why I thought I needed so much, but I thought I did. And guess what? I didn't need that much. All right. So I'm bringing in my embossing oven. This is the cheapest oven that you will ever purchase because you just make it yourself. And so it's free. So it's a piece of cardboard wrapped with foil and I have some paper clips on it. This keeps my hands from getting burnt and um, it holds the, the thing in place so it's not going to blow away. And then the foil actually conducts the heat. So it's going to turn this gold faster. Now, you might not be able to hear me very well because I'm turning my heat, heat tool on here. And I am just warming it up on my hand. And when it gets too hot for my hand to be anywhere near it, I know it's ready. And so this is um, going to melt the powder. You can't do this with a blow dryer. That's not hot enough. Um, this is what they use to strip paint off walls. It's very high heat. So you do want to be careful. Um, don't burn yourself. Right, I think we got it there. So you can just see the powder when it turns from that dull dull um, powder color <laughs> to shiny gold. 
you know you're good you know you're done so let's put aside our little cheapo oven there <laughs> and um i'm gonna take a tool so i'm gonna take a punch powder everywhere goodness gracious so i'm gonna take a punch this punch is called label me fancy um you might recall if you saw the video i did a week ago with my mom's christmas cards um i used another punch called label me pretty which is this uh window shape punch this one is a uh, similar it's just called a uh, label me um uh wait that was label me lovely what did i say this one was called um label me no that was label me pretty this is label me lovely okay so we're gonna slide in the punch and this also has a ribbon slide and a, um, a little tiny hole or ribbon hole. Uh, we don't need either of those. We just want the, the main shape here. So I'm going to slide it in and just kind of making a little banner. So the top will be flat there. Whoa, <laughs> kind of threw it at the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm throwing stuff at you. It's just not safe here tonight. All right. So we're going to bring this over and that's going to go right on our card. Now I... Um, I put this a little bit lower on this one than I did on my sample. And so my um, my piece is hanging down a little farther, but I could trim that off if I didn't like that. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I think it's fine. I think it's, yeah, I'm good with that. So um, so we've got this, but we're going to, we're also going to add a little bit of ribbon. Yeah, you guys know how I roll. I like embellishments and I like ribbon because they take a, a card that can be just a little plain maybe it just takes it to another level and it's so easy right it's um especially this one if you are not a fan of tying bows um, on ribbons this is just a flat piece of ribbon and what a lovely ribbon it is this is called um fine art ribbon and so it's a kind of a crumb cake or linen color with um, just gold metallic threads um threaded through and I'm just going to cut one end of it kind of at an angle and it but it is going to add that little something something <laughs> that little extra bit of bling um, on our card not only with the gold but also with that texture of the ribbon so I'm just going to add a little adhesive down and I'm just literally going to stick it down I'm not even sticking the whole thing down just about half of it and then this is going to go right on top of it I am going to pop this up with a dimensional so let's grab our dimensionals and put it on the card right there. And then the last little bit for the front of our card here. Now I did already have, as I said, I, I when I was designing this card, I played around with doing it on a circle. This is from the um, layered circle dies, which also would have been quite nice. Um, sometimes punches are a little bit quicker than a die so I, I did decide to go the punch route and then we're going to add our trinket so these are the bumblebee trinkets these are actually in the annual catalog and they are nice and flat on one side perfect to add a glue dot and it's just the perfect little touch of gold um, to match um, that hive that honeycomb the hive 3d embossing folder um, and the honeycomb here, just one sweet little bumbler coming in on the side. So there we have the front of our card. Now for the inside of the card, on the swap, I did not do anything on the inside of the card, which is unusual for me. I usually do. I ran out of time. <laughs> True story. Um, but I was thinking, should we give it a try? Let's put a little bumblebee on the inside of this card. Just as something fun. I don't even know which one this is, but I'm just grabbing a bumblebee here. And I'm going to knock things over, of course, because that's how I roll, you guys. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I knocked the heat gun, the heat tool a little bit wonky. All right, so inside my card here, I'm going to add this little bumblebee, and I think I should stamp it in bumblebee ink, right? That seems like a logical choice. Um, you could certainly emboss it in gold as well, but you, I think you can get away when it's on the inside of the card. Um, of doing a different color um, and you know again embossing is a little extra step I'm just this ink looks like it needs to be re-inked so I'm trying checking it on a little piece um, it's pretty light I need to juice it up but I'm gonna we're gonna give it a try we'll see how we go 
I'm just going to add a little tiny bumblebee in the bottom corner. Oh, that was not too bad. So a little bee in the inside of our cart. So there we have a sneak peek of those new products. I am getting ready to send out the uh, catalogs, the mini catalogs. So um, if you, oh, you guys, you know what? I just did that in pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin pie is two slots above the bumblebee. I thought that looked kind of orange. I'm like, huh, that looks really orange. All right. Hang on, do over. Okay, so we you know you guys know how we would fix that, right? We would cut another four by five and a quarter layer and we would just cover that up if we didn't like it. <clears throat> uh, I'll do that later, but for this one, I'm gonna clean my bee off. So another great tool is our cleaning pad. So what I was saying was I'm about to send out, um, they'll be coming out, so you should receive them by the end of the month. Um, the, January through June mini catalog. So if you placed an order with me in the last year, you'll get that automatically. If you have not and you would like a catalog, please email me and that is at susan at suestampfield.com. All right, there he is in, there he is in the right color. There he is in Bumblebee. So we've got our little bee on the inside there. All right, and that is our card. I'm going to flip the camera here. Oh, and one other reminder. Uh, so we talked about, um, oh, recipes. We didn't talk about recipes, but it's the holidays and we like cookies. And some of you may have seen on Facebook, some of you were watching on Facebook, I had posted a, a picture of um, Easter cookies. <laughs> no, Swedish oatmeal cookies, but I was out of Christmas sugar. So they ended up having pastel sugar on them because that's what I have. And it didn't matter because they were gone within, I, they didn't even last half the day. Um, the guys gobbled them up. But many of you asked for the recipe. So I did post that on Facebook just in the comments, but I typed it up nicer on a PDF. And for those of you that follow my, uh, that get my weekly project sheets in your email box, um, you will get that in uh, this week's project sheet. I will do the nice printable um, recipe for you so that you have it if you want to give the Swedish oatmeal cookies a try because they they're my mother my mother-in-law's recipe she's from um uh well her parents are from Denmark and um they'll literally melt in your mouth they're so good so have a great week everyone I hope you have a chance to relax a little bit and de-stress um I hope you you were probably multitasking I know you guys you're probably making cards Lisa was making cards while we were talking here or you're wrapping gifts or whatever but thanks so much for being here with me tonight I really appreciate it have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next time bye-bye